This video brought to you by jadedpainting.com. If you need your miniatures painted to a tabletop standard, check out jadedpainting.com. Q and J. Hey everyone, welcome to one of my new shows. I call Q and J. It's like J with jump cuts. And so, basically, my goal for this new show, I'm gonna create a few new shows. I wanna do a vlog. I want to do my occasional rants that I did. I even know there was a huge amount of views from last week on that one, so that's awesome. And uh, yeah, I just want, and I want to do Q&J. And basically, Q&J, all it is about is that you guys have asked me questions that you do in my comment sections in my videos, or I get a lot of emails or like the instant messaging on YouTube, and uh, I want to answer them. And that way, basically, I, I know that lately I've been a little bit separated from my viewers. It's I've been just really busy, and it's hard to keep on top of viewers sometimes. I've decided that I, I just want to create this this new show called Q&J and that way I can just address comments and questions and that way I can actually create a, a relationship once again with my viewers because that's what it's about, you know, I just, you guys getting to know me, getting to know you and uh, yeah, so without further ado, here's the first question of Q&J. So I recently got a question from Luke13630. So basically. He asked, uh, he recently went on the Vinegar Wargaming website and on the live show schedule, he did not see my show. And he asks, did you get rid of it? I was just curious, if so, are you gonna do another show? Happy Wargaming, Luke R. So, Luke, thank you very much for the question. I decided to make it my first question of Q and J. For those who don't know, I used to do a live show. I did it for about six months, seven months. Uh, maybe an eight months, it could've been nine months. I think it was nine months. Hmm. I did a live show for miniwargaming.com in which I did a show for three hours uh, and I broadcasted it through Twitch TV. And basically I just, you know, got to know the viewers. It was a lot of just back and forth banter between myself and the viewers talking about various topics of miniature wargaming. Recently, about a month and a half ago, to maybe two months ago, I stopped doing it. There's two reasons why I had to stop doing it, unfortunately. First of all, my computer kind of crapped out on me and can't even open the software anymore. Sucks really sucks. So yeah, so then I had to just, I looked at how I didn't need to fix my computer. Essentially, my computer's old. I built it six years ago, so it's it's pretty old. And I really want to build a new computer and I'm starting to put all my, my YouTube extra money that I make from my YouTube channel towards a new computer. Uh, that way I can start rendering more videos, creating more videos, and ultimately just having a lot more fun on the YouTube channel. Um, that'll be one of my goals. Hopefully get a new computer eventually. The second reason is because now I actually have two jobs. I work with Mini Wargaming and I have another job on the side. And uh, not the commission painting either, just another official job. And when I went back to Mini Wargaming, uh, I had a scheduling conflict with my other job and I was required to work nights at my other job. So I had to work during the same time slot I had to do my live show, which was 10 o'clock. And that is the reason why I haven't been able to do my live show. And ultimately, I just spoke with the guys at Mini Wargaming and we just took it down. I don't know if in the future it will go back up because right now, as I said, my computer can't even handle it and I work at the same time, but there's always hope. Maybe one day if I get a new computer and I'm able to rearrange my schedule, I would love to do, do my live show and I, I just love the engagement between myself and my audience. I really got to know a lot of audience members. It was really cool just to chat with them for about three hours a, a week and uh, see how they're doing, see how I'm doing. It was a lot of fun. I really do miss it. It was definitely the highlight of my week. It uh, really, really sucked when I had to get rid of it. But I had to make the call. Uh, of course, I need to work. I need to make some money to keep my family going. You gotta do what you gotta do. And the answer is basically that's the reason. And hopefully it will come back one day. Really hope so. Hey, I really hope so, as I said. So, thank you very much for watching this very first episode of Q&J. Now, it is your turn. What questions do you really want to know about me? Do you want to know uh, about my life, my experience with Mini Wargaming, my history with it, um, my experiences working at miniwargaming.com with you know Matt and Dave and Owen and Chris. Would you like to know just random things about me, uh, my thoughts and opinions? And uh, yeah, and I will just leave in the comments section down below and I will create more of these. Uh, this will also be for any tips, anything about my equipment, what I use, what I prefer, making tutorials in general, anything you guys want to know, just leave it in the comment section down below and I'll make some in the future. Or you can contact me directly through my YouTube account. And uh, yeah, so, and also while I'm here, you should check out my other videos. I recently posted a vlog 
and it was it's got a good response. I'm I, it's a, actually just a rant that I did at an amusement park talking about his games workshop too expensive. And I've also posted another tutorial recently about Dark Angels, and it actually has two qualities. You need to click on which quality of tutorial you want to see, and it takes you to a different one depending on what you want. It's right there. And uh, yeah, so thank you very much for watching this video. Please leave comments in the comment section down below. Please like the video and subscribe to my channel if you already have done so. It really does help a lot. So, until next time, this is Jay saying, happy painting, everyone. <laughs>